Hi everyone, Kelsey here with video number six of our virtual Christmas extravaganza 2.0. As a reminder, this video is part of a Christmas themed, project based, new fabric video series. Once again, I'm super excited for this video because it is jam-packed with ideas to get you sewing this holiday season. We have Feeling Frosty right behind me with kits available. We have bonus project ideas that you can use your leftover fabric from that kit. And we have gnomes, lots and lots of gnomes. So let's go ahead and get started with Feeling Frosty. This is the latest uh, Christmas collection from Blank Quilting. We always love the free quilt patterns they come out with. Carol made this one for us this year. It's a skill level advanced beginner and the quilt is 57 inches by 71 inches. So it's a very nice size featuring very happy snowmen and of course, a beautiful border print um, that is included in it. And so if you like snowmen, don't miss out on this kit because once they're gone, they're gone. Let's go ahead and take a look. As Carol was making this quilt, she realized there was a typo in it. It says you need two and an eighth yards of the Christmas border stripe. You actually need three and an eighth yards of the Christmas border stripe to get all the way around the quilt with those cute snowmen. So we have included some instructions that we've typed in order for you to successfully complete your quilt top. All right, everything else is good and dandy with feeling frosty. Once again, everything you need to make the quilt top is included in this kit. Penguins, they're always popular this time of year. And as we are looking at these, I'll, sh I'll show them to you on the bolt as well. So we'll go through this fast because you may want to consider the backing. You need four yards of a backing and we have some really great options for you. Here is the border print and you're only going to use in the quilt this strip. So Carol came up with a great idea for the waist that's on the top and the bottom of this border print, which I shall show you in just a moment. And then it features a panel, feeling frosty panel. Here we go. <laughs> Sweet winter scenes. Alrighty, so kits are available. Remember they're 20% off with your Xmas 20 coupon code that you type in our website. Once they're gone, they're gone. So don't miss out on feeling frosty. All right. And then triangle frenzy. Many of you may have this um, pattern. Maybe you don't. We have a couple of them on sale, I believe. So this was made using the waist from the border print. Carol told me she was able to make two different table runners. Here's the first one. And here's the second one. And the pattern is triangle frenzy and it uses a triangle ruler. I believe Carol said it was an eight inch ruler. If you own the pattern, go ahead and pull it out. If you plan on making one of these for Christmas, it's kind of a timeless pattern that uses border prints. And if you don't own the pattern, there are a few different renditions of the triangle frenzy table runner and Carol was able to make two. It's amazing. All right. And now on the back of the quilt, we opted for the Christmas tags. I really think you can't go wrong with any of these. Um, this is my other favorite one right here. This is directional. So you definitely need your four yards. You need the length of the fabric or the length of the quilt twice, but really, really sweet. This is the one that we used. And if you're on a hunt for penguin fabric or you love penguins, that's in there. We always have customers on a hunt for penguins every year. This one's really nice too. If you've got a plaid theme going um, in your house for Christmas, this is really great. I like that one. Red snowflakes kind of getting thin on this. Probably not enough for a backing, but good for other projects. 
and then the snowman outside at night and tossed Christmas ornaments on a nice hunter green background. Next up, we have Gnome's Home Tree Farm from P&B Fabrics. And there are two panels in the collection. Here's the first one. Kind of thought it looked like a um, candle mat or maybe a place mat. And here's where you put your plate. But P&B came up with some different ideas, which I can't wait to show you. We've got free patterns. And here is the other panel of Gnome's Home Tree Farm, Merry and Bright. And here are some ideas for this collection. This one is a tree skirt design um, featuring this right here. And then we have a table runner. Um, maybe you can put a candle on each end. Um, and then we have a quilt design all free so all to support this um, particular collection this quilt 72 inches it's a square so 72 inch square and then we have a border print we didn't get too many um, border prints like this that you could do like a tablecloth out of or a skirt so the gnomes are on both ends of the fabric and then it's all snowflake in between so gnome, gnome, snowflake in between. And some great coordinates. There's gnome place like home. You could do any of their ideas with it, but this will just look cute as a throw pillow, something quick and easy. And then coordinates so you don't have to think about what goes with it. We know that green one looks really nice with it. And then we've got a really nice plaid to go with it. And a border stripe for all of your border stripe pattern ideas. Okay, next up we have Timber Nomi's Tree Farm. And if you watched me last year, you know that Timber Nomi's was a huge hit. So I'm so glad that they came out with another edition of the Timber Nomi's this time a tree farm because these gnomes are adorable. So there's two panels in the collection. We didn't have time to make the quilt up this year, but hopefully you can imagine how adorable something using the Timber Gnomes Tree Farm holiday panels will be. There are two free patterns, so let's get the overhead and see the first pattern features that adorable panel I just showed you. It's a 68 by 80 inch quilt. It's advanced beginner, so there's some basic piecing involved. And then the next one features the smaller panel with the squares and the quilt also advanced beginner. Finishes at 62 by 74 inches. Of course, we're gonna link these patterns for you. So if you wanna make the quilt, the, pat the instructions are free and normally they're very good. A Heidi Pride more, I like all of her ideas. And then this was Timber Nomi's from last year, but we're, I think we're gonna link it as well because even though the fabrics are different this year, you could still take this idea of doing a simple strip quilt and featuring some of your favorite fabrics from this collection, it'd be super easy. Um, and so let's, oh, and there was a stocking panel and I know how everybody loves to do panel projects because they're fast gratifying. Um, once we realized this was here, I made these, these stockings while we were prepping for this video. They're right here. So we'll take a look at those in a second. Let's, let's go ahead and look at all the fabrics. Alrighty, so we have a great selection of border stripes this year. This is the Timber Tree Farm with the adorable gnomes from, um, I think this is, yeah, it's Henry Glass. They really knock it out of the park with the gnomes. And so we got a great snowflake. And um, this one is the one that I used inside of my panel. <laughs> All right, there we go. There you can see. Um, so this is very, very easy to make. Beginner skill level right here. The Timber Nomi's Tree Farm Stockings. Add your own personal touch to make it 
one of a kind by embellishing ribbons, glitter, novelty buttons, or beads. The instructions are right here. And as you can see, you receive four fronts. So you can use one on one side, one on the other, or to make the fronts last longer, you can use be jolly, look at how cute this one's my favorite, and then the coordinate on the back. So it's up to you whether you want to make it truly completely reversible or pick your favorite coordinate from the collection. Um, and just know that the panel doesn't call for batting or fusible fleece or anything, so these don't have any in it. Um, if I was making it for somebody, I'd probably put batting in it to make it a little fluffier. So remember to do that um, to, to iron it on your fronts if you're using fusible fleece before you get this project started. So Timber Nomi stockings. I know a lot of us uh, still use stockings. I certainly do every year and it's fun to have handmade stockings. And if you're teaching a child how to sew, this would be a fun project to make memories with them. Okay. Just a great Christmas print. I love the bear. The gnome is riding the bears, <laughs> sitting on the sleeping bear, one or the other. And then here's another great plaid. Go with your stockings. The traditional red truck with the uh, gnomes riding along. And then we've got a great red and green here. Christmas trees, tone on tone. They coordinate, so if you need some matching fabrics, you don't have to wonder if these match. Oh, look at my stack of fabric. I got a workout in here today. So Timber Nomi's Feeling Frosty, the quilt, the kit's available, the panels are available. You need a yard of coordinating fabric um, to line them, so remember that. Thank you so much for continuing to watch me and get Christmas inspiration. It's a fun time of the year to sew and we certainly appreciate you watching. Remember to use your discount code. Everything's available in store or on sewing.net and have a great day.